Hey, what's up everyone? Tankenstein here. In this video, I've got your full overview and gameplay for the 2S25 Sprout, a rank 7 BR 1. Point, or 9.7, I mean to say, light tank in the Russian tank tech tree. And this does sit at the very, very top over the object 685 in the light tank branch, again, of the Russian tech tree. So this is a very, very powerful vehicle. Uh, it's got a 125 millimeter cannon, and this is a light tank that weighs less than 20 tons. So this cannon is, uh, if I'm not mistaken, a derivative of what you might find on the T-80. For example, maybe the T-80 BVM. It's just kind of a, a different version of it uh, that's more fit for... Uh, you know, being that this is an airborne tank, something that would be dropped out of a plane, uh, it's better fit for something like that. And it has a ton of power, although its reload rate is a little bit mediocre, unfortunately. Uh, it's eight and a half seconds, so it's it's not really up there with a lot of the other light tanks in game. It does feature an auto loader, however, it does have a limited capacity for that. Plus, it does have a really fairly cramped turret, uh, and it does not have any thermals so as you can see here we have night vision but no thermals anywhere it does have itself a nice laser rangefinder airstrike capabilities so that makes it easier to get into a plane for example um, and it does have a decent enough apf sds shell so you have 457 millimeters at max for a 9.7 br light tank that's not too bad uh, it's got good performance at 30 degrees and even a thousand meters pretty good you know in much the same way we have this the 3bm 22 Fairly similar shell, of course, the BM-42 is a bit better. However, this is still pretty darn good and has a ridiculously high muzzle velocity of 1,760 meters per second. So it's pretty good coming out of the barrel. It's a good first row modification. The thing that really makes this thing suffer is the fact that it does not have thermals. Unfortunately, it does come standard with heat FS, as you could see, and it does have a 70 kilometer per hour top speed and it weighs around four and a half tons more than the recently released BMD-4, which is tremendous because even though this has a slightly more powerful engine, it still weighs around 30% more than the BMD-4. So we are going to see a vehicle that is still fast, very fast as a matter of fact. It just won't be as quick as, again, the BMD-4 being, again, that that's a recent release. Now, when it comes to armor, it's not that bad. I mean, it's what's to be expected in a vehicle like this. This is an amphibious vehicle. However, the armor is a little bit better than you might think just because with the uh, front of this, it has a pretty decent chance of just ricocheting shells. I mean, of course, they'd have to hit it at a decently far off angle, but it does have a chance. Uh, but otherwise, I mean, if you get hit by the side or the rear especially against HMGs or auto cannons, you will be torn apart, especially being that you only have a three-person crew. But that being said, let's get into it. I'm excited to test this thing out, show it off, and, uh, well, let's do it, guys. So this is actually, it's a kind of quick tank, but also I am on, and unfortunately the dev server doesn't do anything about it, uh, um, because they kind of forced me to play on it, but I'm basically only on paved roads. So of course it's going to look fast. Uh, but even off paved roads, it's pretty good. Um, I mean, it's not like BMD fast, but it's act I'd probably say about 90% there. I'm actually pleasantly surprised by this. I mean, after all, it is on a very similar chat. Ooh, that was ugly. It is on a very... Si oh, man, this reload is killer. Oh, gosh. Man, it is weird switching from this, like, from a main battle tank to this like i could easily die to any of those world war ii tanks that i'm firing at um justfully or rightfully so they they're looking at me funny but like well okay they only have like five enemy players um <laughs> the guy called someone a cheater the first thing he says is cheater and then he quits <laughs> don't you hate salty people but i mean hey who's to say he could be a cheater we don't know I'll say this though, I really like the um, the ammunition. It's really really nice. Like this is a powerful tank. Holy guacamole! Like really, I, I get it. Like I'm facing World War II tanks, but if it, there we go. But it feels like there's really really good post pen damage, uh, and you know how it is. Like even with heat FS or even like smaller size uh, shells with the uh, with 
APF SDS, it might not one hit kill, but every almost every shot was a one hit kill. That's really impressive. Anyways, let's get into the next match. Kind of the funny thing that I found out about the Sprut thus far is that this tank is really, really good, right? Like, it's got good stats. But it's like, if it improved on two, maybe three categories, it would easily be a 10.3 or higher, right? So if it had thermals, way improved. So right now, you have to kind of do it the old-fashioned way and either go off of this. I mean, thankfully, it has in or night vision, which is something. I mean, it doesn't really work when all your maps are day maps, but uh, it does have night vision. And it also has a really powerful cannon, but that cannon has an eh reload of like 8.7, and that's fully, fully upgraded, full like everything, right? Like your tanks, crews are maxed, and everything. So it's like, compared to other MB, like compared to MVTs, not other MVTs, just MVTs in general, because this is not an MVT, but rather a light tank. This is kind of lacking, at least when it comes to reload. When you have tanks like the HSVTL, uh, ooh, 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 there's something nasty over there, man. Like the the turn rate for the uh, turret is not that bad. Turret traverse, it's okay. But um, yeah, the it's got an okay reload. Nothing great, nothing terrible. It's just, eh, you know. Uh, and finally, if it had a slightly better acceleration. Maybe I'm just kind of used to, at this point, the BMD4. Um, I love the BMD4, by the way. I do have that in my regular account, not just the dev server. But uh, the, ooh. But the BMD4 really, this has a much worse, not much worse, but it's got a noticeably worse acceleration compared to the BMD4. Also, the zoom is not that good on this. Time to kill some World War II tanks. That's what I do best. Dev servers. If you ain't killing World War II tanks, you ain't living, guys. But yeah, no, I mean, aside from those flaws, I mean, I would say that this is actually... It's still an excellent tank. Like, you get first shot in, you're going to do well. Um, it's very, very capable. And it's got such a massive, massive round. 125 millimeters on a light tank. Like, however slow this thing reloads, like, you're probably going to get a one-hit kill on that. Ooh, that's not good. Probably going to get a one-hit kill on that. I probably shouldn't be going this side. But I'm going to. Let's see what we can do. Okay, we got ourselves a jabroni over there. Okay, well, I had to fire at someone. Now, this is a great... I, I really like this vehicle. Um, it's not really, like... It doesn't feel all too balanced, even relative to, like, other light tanks. Um, I mean, really, like I said, it's just... It's a very heavy-hitting light tank. It's just a one-hit kill. Should you actually hit the crew compartment, like, you will kill the enemy tank, you know, assuming that you pen. Um, this just does such a massive amount of damage. It really just comes down to reload. Because if you don't hit, then you're dead. Okay, we got ourselves Charlie Bogey Bogey. Oh, no, no, no. Come on. No, no, no. Yeah, buddy. Woo! But yeah, I mean, that's just it. If I had a much... Whoa, what was that? I looked down for a second. Oh, there's an enemy. If I had a much faster reload, I don't feel like this would be all too much of a concern. Uh, by this, I mean, I just don't feel like the cannon would be all that much. But then again, if it was a faster reload, let's say... Ooh, let's say, like, I don't know, seven seconds. Not much fast. Ooh, I should not have gone out here. Um, but, like, let's say if it was a second second reload, right? Nothing insane, but enough where one would say, okay, that's that's a sufficiently quick reload. Then 
Is that an, an actual enemy? That was that an actual enemy? No, it wasn't. Okay. But I feel like a seven second reload would put this thing at 10.0 OBR. Oh wow, we lost already. Guess I guess one more match. Wow. Okay. Now I know that this is way too early of an opinion uh, to to make on any vehicle. Especially one on the dev server where things are admittedly quite fluid. I feel that this is actually quite a good vehicle. Um, it would benefit people who stay out of the line of enemy tanks, way of enemy tanks. Because if you get hit by an auto cannon, for example, like let's just say on the Leopard 2K, you're dead. Like there's no way that you're going to survive. Um, so it's, it's a really, really nice cannon. It's like typically a one hit kill or at least like you will disable the enemy tank however again you have no armor plus its speed is oh it's pretty good it's pretty good but like when you've been exposed to something like the bmp4 or bmd4 uh the speed does leave you a bit to be desired but the turret traverse is pretty good so there's that so eh, there's a lot of give and take with this vehicle man he took it in my kill. Okay. Oh, that was nice. Okay, now this is where a nice reload would actually come in handy. Okay. That's where actually being able to aim would come in handy, too. There we go. That's more like it. Because I am Sprout. Or, wait. I am Sprout. Okay, that was cringe moment of the week right there. Whoops. Don't meme that. It's like, what, who am I talking about? That's not going to be memed. I've like, got like 15,000, 16,000, whatever it is. Uh, that's not all too many. Not enough to be memed. Where was this guy firing? I wonder. I like the the canal design here. I really wish that they let us play the uh, the other map. I feel like that'd be a lot of fun. Okay, coming up from going up to the sea point. Do we have any Charlie Bingo Bingo Dingos over here? I certainly hope not. Yeah, there's someone over here. See, like, this is just it. Like, that, that M1A2 is more or less keeping up with me. And I'm in a light tank. Albeit, again, this is a 9.7. Okay. I feel like I'm about to die. But, um, yeah, you know, I mean, albeit this is a 9... Okay, really? You're still not spawned in, guy? Or, no, wait, that's a different one. This is a 9.7, but... Nice! Uh, it still feels like... I should be a little bit faster, but, you know, I can't have it all. I mean, this is... Ooh. After all, the dev server, and it is also a video game. So it's like, that'd be kind of stupid if I was complaining about that sort of thing. <laughs> to be honest with you. Nice! They called me intelligent. The enemy is winning. We must counterattack. He doesn't look like he spawned in yet. Okay, he is. Oh, okay, really? You just gotta throw some softballs at me, guy? What the heck even was that? And that this is kind of the, the big problem I have with the dev server. I mean, it's kind of a problem, not really. Because it's like... I kind of want to, I want to play in a competitive setting to a point, you know, like dev, dev server is, I mean, I don't know. Like, I think what the dev server has set up is okay. Like maybe like three on three or something like that, four on four, but like all these bots make these vehicles look way better than they probably really are. Like I'm not taking any damage from an M1A1 or an M1A2 with a uh, 30 or with a 76 millimeter can. That would punch right through this thing. Like, I don't care how advanced this vehicle is. 
it can still be penetrated by like a lot of you I mean like a World War II anti-tank gun could probably make short work of this thing if you hit the right spots so I don't know it's almost kind of feels too easy in a way okay that's that's an actual enemy uh oh uh oh can I destroy an actual enemy Eat it! <laughs> I killed an actual enemy. Just that was so difficult. Oh, he's not dead. He set me on fire. You're gonna die first, son. Okay, now I'm just capping the spawn. This is not cool. Okay. Wow, okay, that's an actual enemy. Does he even realize I'm here? Yes, he does. What is going on? Okay, I can't, I still feel really bad about that. So, I'm, there it is. And I got killed. I got killed by an NPC. Just desserts, if I say so myself. Anyways, that's all for this gameplay. There's not so much I can show on the dev server, but I did get my opinion on it, so let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Like, comment, subscribe. You know the deal. And I'll see you all on the other side. Take care, everyone. Ooh, someone's got a nuke.